Hi, and welcome back to the workbench. What I'm looking at today is getting this cable connector back together. The nine pin just blew apart. There was a cable fault in here. There's a cable fault over on the joystick. So I had to actually rip it apart. Got it all fixed up on the joystick. Added some strain relief internally so that it's not, uh, not going to fail again, hopefully. But I'm still left with a problem on here where this doesn't exactly make a great connection. What I did was I stripped out one of the connectors from a 9-pin female jack. I just stripped off all the metal on it and uh, soldered down the connections. But now I need to provide some kind of housing for it. So what I did was built a 3D model of the housing, which should work. I'm intending to press fit this in there and then I'm going to fill it with hot glue and then clamp these onto the end to provide strain relief. So let's see if that actually works. Got the Genesis over here to try it out if everything goes to plan. So it finally worked, but I think that's going to need some refinement. This would be better as a, a two piece connector, I believe. So that press fit is pretty darn tight. I think I'm going to forego the hot glue inside. Let me just press that in quick. All right, now that I've got the connector back together with a 3D printed bit in place, let's plug it in and see if it works. Yeah, the fit's not great on it, but it does fit in. All right, turn her on. Ah, I need to check some audio up on this, but here we go. Up and down seem to work fine. Start works. Let's check all the functions up, down, right, left, button one, button two, button three. And the auto functions, they're slow. Auto jump A, auto jump B, auto jump C. Yeah, so it works. It's not a great fit, unfortunately, but functional. The problem here is that nine pin connectors for the DB9s with the serial jacks aren't that deep and these really should have a much deeper connector. That's why I'm going to print a resin 3D print in the resin printer and see if I can get the, the actual openings set up right and then use some pins to create new ones with. I've got some, let's see here, these pins. This should work okay. But I'll do another video if that works out all right and show you those and post them up to Thingiverse and make the models available for use. If you're wondering what I used for this one, this is what these actually are. They're just solder down nine pin connectors with a metal housing on them. I removed the metal housing because it, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't fit at all with that on there. It, uh, since these are so shallow, the surround the little bit of space this takes up just makes them completely useless for that. But there you have it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe down below. See you next time.